Chilly weather for the last several days. In fact, we've been hovering well below average with our temperature yesterday only climbing into the low 50s. But that was uh, the beginning of a warm up that's going to continue because of a strong ridge of high pressure that will dominate our weather pattern. It's centered over the interior west, but it's far enough to the west of us that over the top of that there's a northwesterly flow with some of those mid and high level clouds that will be spilling in today. So it's going to be looking a little different, but otherwise warming up. The thing is, there will be a few more disturbances brushing by to our north over the next couple of days. Most notably, one of those Thursday evening might bring a few showers to the far northern part of the state, but a stronger storm will make its way in by Saturday, and that's going to bring a better chance of some showers in the valleys and some snow in the mountains uh, by the end of the weekend. But at ahead of that today, we're going to make it all the way into the upper 50s in Salt Lake City, even though with a light breeze at the northwest this afternoon, it might not feel quite that warm. And we'll have those clouds around uh, with patchy sunshine peeking through off and on. A lot of valleys in the north will hover in the 50s. Low to mid 60s would be pretty common over the southern part of Utah and in St. George, you're going to make it up near 70 degrees. Salt Lake City, it'll be mostly cloudy this evening and then those clouds thin out quite a bit after midnight. And by tomorrow morning, we're only going to be dropping down to 39. So the warmest morning we've had so far this week, it'll be feeling a lot better when you head out the door, even though it will still be pretty chilly for a lot of you. In fact, you can see that a lot of valleys through the central part of the state will drop down into the mid to upper 20s. You'll bottom out near 40 in St. George, but you keep warming up. It'll be sunny in the low 70s on Thursday and Friday. Stay that warm through the weekend with temperature only dropping back near 70 by next Monday and Tuesday. And our super seven day forecast for Salt Lake City, uh, partly cloudy, low 60s by tomorrow. It'll stay that way through Saturday. And an added bonus is daylight saving time ends. So Saturday night before you go to bed, you can set the clocks back one hour, get an extra hour of sleep. And you might just be tempted to sleep in anyway because Saturday night, that next system I mentioned moves in. That'll bring a chance of some showers in the evening. They'll become a lot more widespread by Sunday afternoon, rain in the valleys, the snow in the mountains, primarily above 8,000 feet, but there's the potential we could get several inches, and then the showers will be tapering off by the evening hours, but any break isn't going to last very long. We'll still get another couple disturbances that will be moving through on Monday and Tuesday, bringing a chance of a little bit of a little bit more wet weather with temperatures by then dropping down into the mid to upper 50s. So not as cold as we've been over the last couple of days, but we definitely want to enjoy that warm weather while we can because obviously it's not going to stick around all that long. But that's the time of year. You have to get used to it. Some fluctuations in those temperatures.